Hello, hello, hello. I am Bonke the author. Happy Wednesday to everybody. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am a new author, a new professor, a new wife, and a new entrepreneur. Hey, Essence. And this is the thank you tour. So as you know, we are nearing the one year anniversary of the release of my debut novel, Always Want More. In that year, hey Isaac, thanks for joining. In that year, we have sold, hey Santasha, thank you for joining. In that year, we have sold nearly 1,000 copies, something that only 3% of all authors will do. Camo Cons, thank you so much for joining. And thank you, Bill. I'm trying to be like you when I grow up, Essence. So, I got to get right to it because I'm on a limited time frame. I have two interviews back to back today, but I am sharing the amazing, dynamic people who have poured into this project and have made a success possible. Shalon Wan, with all the numbers, thank you for joining. And so I'll, the purpose of this is to share the amazing village that I have around me. What you are seeing is not me. It is just a reflection of my faith, my city, and all of the people who have helped me. So today we have one of my favorite students. She was in my class my first semester as a professor. She has prayed for me. She is a wonderful woman of God. I just had to let you guys meet Miss Sasha. Hello. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. So can you please tell us, what semester are you in now in your um, collegiate career? This is my fifth semester. Amazing. Um, very happy to still be here. Um, I plan on finishing out, working it out. What are your goals? What are you in school for? Human services is my major now. Um, started out as a psychology major, and that wasn't the direction that I wanted to go. Mm -hmm. um, after a lot of praying and um, just believing that... Um, to counsel and help and and so I went into human services and I, I'm and I'm really enjoying it. Hmm. What do you want to do once you graduate when you get out in the field? Not really sure. I just left class and um, phenomenal speakers um, on HIV, people living with AIDS and um, even though I'm, I'm not HIV positive or anything to that nature, but I know that I want to connect with people and be able to connect them with agencies where they can find the help. Mm -hmm. um, I left there inspired to um, advocate for HIV and just to get tested, and um, it was very inspiring. So um, I'm looking for women um, that to empower each other, um, uh, young mothers, anywhere in that direction. It's, there's, it, it's the spectrum is so broad. Um, there's so much that I can do. So I'm not really sure right at this point. Hmm. Can you share a piece of your testimony with us? Okay. Um, I'm a recovering addict um, of 11 years of crack cocaine. Um, let's see. I'm a mom of three beautiful children. Um, I have a wonderful husband. And today, I can say that um, had it not been for my past, I wouldn't be here in my future. I wouldn't be here where I am. So everything that I've endured, um, when I was 10, I was sexually abused. Um, everything that has happened to me has, has brought me to this place, has brought me um, to a place such as is the one that I'm in. And I'm very grateful for this place. I'm mm -hmm. very grateful to be able to turn around and say, you know what, I survived all of that and I'm going to proceed on. Mm. Thank you guys so much for joining. Thank you for the beautiful hearts and thank you for sharing this. Sasha has an amazing testimony, so please forgive me if I don't greet you all individually as you jump on, but I just need to let you guys hear her because... Um, I'm going to just let her keep talking. So where you are now, what are all the different roles that you have right now in your life? So you're a mother and a grandmother yes, and I'm a wife. a mother, a grandmother, a wife, a caretaker to my eldest brother. Um, uh, I teach uh, Bible. I have a Bible study um, class that I teach in the summer. I'm a school bus driver. <laughs> I'm a student. Um, and I'm a worshiper. Um, I'm an interceder. Um, mm -hmm. Just a huge woman of faith. I believe in God and all that um, is wrapped into that. Um, I believe that I, I too one day will join my mother and grandmother and other family members that I have in heaven. Um, 
Um, so I just try to lead by example and just try, you know, I'm not perfect. I'm nowhere close to, um, you know, God is still working on me. <laughs> um, but I just, I encourage women um, that are married or getting married. Um, I have a phenomenal husband and, and with him, we have built this life together. And I know that there are couples um, that we can encourage and, you know, because we've been through. And when I say we've been through, that's mm -hmm. just what I mean, you know, and, it, and it's a maintenance, an everyday maintenance. Marriage is, you know, so it's just so much that I've experienced that I can touch on. I think God has has led me in a, in a bunch of different areas areas to where there's not just one thing that I can focus on. Um, there's, it's, again, the spectrum is wide. And if I can help you, I will. If I can't, I'll just pray for you and keep it moving. Hmm. I'm going to flip it for one second. Um, this is what I mean when I say that I learn so much from my students. Um, Sasha was in my class my first semester as an adjunct professor. I had a lot to learn. Um, I was also in the midst of preparing my novel to be released. So I was preparing for the book release. I was doing all of the editing. I also had satellite releases in DC, Richmond, Paris, Lego. So there was a lot going on. And I can say um, it was a lot for me to balance. But when, from the first day when I met this woman, I knew that God had placed her in my classroom. She is a leader. She is an awesome woman of faith. She is an amazing student. Like she's the type to go above and beyond. Like she really pushes herself to excel. And so she set a beautiful example for all of my students. And then, like she said, if she can help you, she will. So I'm gonna flip it back to her so she can tell you guys the, the specific things she has done to help me with the always want more journey. You're not crying, are you? No, no. Oh, okay. Don't, don't get soft on me. <laughs> um, just encouraging. Um, you were already on, well on your way to where you were going. It's just encouraging, keeping you encouraged. And we're all going to get weary. We're all going to have days where, you know, we forget why we're doing whatever it is that we're doing. And, and God does. He places people in your life to help be an encouragement, to help you get to your next place. I mean, you're, we're just one person away from our next um, blessing. And um, I, I firmly believe that. And, mm -hmm. and just as I was inspiring you, I had no idea. You know, it wasn't purposely. But you are um, forever will be someone who I can look up to and respect and admire. And I'm ever grateful for God placing us, you know, in the same in each strategic other's lives. space um, yep. at this time. Um, I'm going to keep it on you, but because that was very general. So I don't know if you don't remember the specific things that you've done, but I'm going to break it all the way down. Uh -oh. Hi, Wise Courtship. I love your username. Okay, so like, I, like she said, encouragement. Encouragement goes both ways. I have never had a relationship where I feel like as a professor or as a teacher, I know everything. No, I see my students as equals. And so we poured into each other. Like we will always talk um, about our goals, our struggles. Everybody always shared their testimonies. And so at one one point I was struggling to raise the money for the book release because it was very important to me that <laughs> that we have this beautiful release that celebrated Rochester it was called a night of hood elegance where everybody could come and experience love and fine art and culture for $25 with that $25 you got a book you got um, food catered by the French Quarter you had open bar you had great entertainment it was beautiful. So I was stuck trying to come up with the money. What did you do, Sasha? Uh -huh. This is one of those moments where when you do from your heart, you don't keep count. You don't, you don't, not that I forgot, but I did what I did just being obedient. And, and as I went to class, um, I was being pulled. The spirit was pulling me to take up a collection and checks had just been released. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I know y'all got the money. You know, and, 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 it, and it wasn't anything that was from me or for me. It, they all wanted to help this phenomenal um, professor who um, truly has moved and touched and, and has poured into us. And we watched her run to class day, <laughs> and I mean run, day in and day out. Walking days, you know, she was she was she was just a, such an inspiration to help us work out and help us physically. Uh, so it just was nothing to to ask. Again, um, if I could have done it all by myself, I would have. But it was collectively. Um, they people run 
you know, when it's when it's for a good cause, and and I truly believe that uh, Professor McCullough is definitely worth the cause. She really is, and she's gonna go far. And um, so again, I, I did not that I forgot that that had happened, but it just it it that's that's what I'm here for. You know, whatever God inspires and tells me to do, out of obedience, that's why I'm here. So I'm gonna flip it. So. <laughs> Just have to share with you guys. Um, I just get emotional because God places us all on each other's paths for a reason. She talked about obedience. It's um, being observant enough to see where people's need um, is. It's being obedient enough to do what you can to meet that need and not just pray. Prayer is everything, but prayer is supposed to inspire action. Mm -hmm. And that's what um, divine connections, absolutely. That's what this has been. And so her in the class, they gave me a, such a sweet card. They gave me um, almost $90 so that we could have this beautiful release and that it could celebrate Rochester and it could be affordable and accessible for so many different people. Um, I just want to say thank you. I know I don't. I know I don't even have to say it, but that's why I love you. And I just hope that you guys all have um, amazing people in your lives and that you're pushing yourself to be that amazing person. Let's let's really see and connect with each other so that we can help each other all do kingdom business. Because that's my first priority, doing things that are going to be pleasing to the Lord. And then my second priority is looking out for black folks. And we have to look out for each other. And Sasha is one of those people who has done that. Um, like she said, I... We there's been mutual encouragement. I actually had no books at my book release, and I found that out while I was teaching that there were going to be no books, and I really just felt like giving up. And Sasha, like, I mean, I was boohooing, like I'm the professor and I'm crying, but she really does pour it back into me, and so I'm, that's that's why I'm sharing this thank you tour. I'm just hoping that it will help you all with your own journey. So I'm going to let Sasha sign us out. But I am Bonke, the author, new wife, new professor, new author, and new entrepreneur, and I'm just sharing my journey in the hopes of inspiring all of you. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you for the hearts, and thank you for um, inviting followers. For those of you who are watching for the first time, please make sure that you follow me. This is what I do. I love my city. And there are such amazing people and amazing things going on. Let's focus our energy on that, please. Also, all of these interviews from the Thank You Tour, Sasha is my 21st interview. All of these interviews are located on my YouTube channel, which is also Bon K, the author. And then you can see pictures of the different people I have interviewed on um, your new one here. Well, thank you so much for joining. You can see pictures of the people I have interviewed on Instagram, and that's also Bonke, the author. Sasha, would you be so kind to sign us out? Oh, just thank you for having me. Um, and again, always want more. Right. We love you guys, and God bless.